guys, we have a massive Helen haul. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I do post videos every week. So I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, we have a Palen haul, but more importantly, I also had the pleasure of going to the Palen store in Paris. This is their only store in France, and then they only recently opened up a store in New York, um, I believe like a few months ago. So I wanted to review my in-store experience and then also give you guys a little haul for everything that I picked up. So without further ado, let's get into it. It ain't a time for an arguing Ain't a time to cry over spilled milk Batteries full of charged in Believe or not, you're the best we win So the plan B was set out Trust yourself when no one else does Stop holding up a better I had an amazing time. Um, I reached out to my Palen rep um, when we knew that we were going to Paris um, just to see if we can coordinate something just to meet up because I feel like we've been like almost like email pen pals for almost two years. And so um, it was great finally to meet her in person, see the Palen store. Uh, I've seen so many like TikToks, vlogs on the Palen store. So it was great to be able to see it in person. Um, the store did have like a little bit of Christmas decor up because when I went, it was still Christmas. Um, but I love that they added the Christmas decor, but with their little like twist of Palen to it. Um, their Christmas tree was like an all leather Christmas tree kind of made out of their leather scraps, which I thought was so fun. Um, they had a ton of bags available on display. They had a ton of bags that you were able to try on. And I feel like the store in general, um, there was like a very nice, it, it was just a very like uh, minimalist feel to it. And I think sometimes when I go into a store that um, has just a lot of stuff, it's a little bit overwhelming. So I love the minimal feel to it. They even have like a white couch. I call this like the boyfriend couch because like, let's be honest, this is, like, that's where all the boyfriends sit. Um, so they had two boyfriend couches um, kind of like facing each other, which it just made for a very like comfortable shopping experience. You guys know how I feel about Palen. I'm a huge Palen stan account. I would, I personally would not go out of my way to go to their store and check things out if I wasn't a huge Palen stan account. So I, it was just such an amazing experience. So a few observations that I made um, I went before the store opened. So um, because I was in contact with my rep, um, I went before the store opened. So I personally did not have to wait in line. But as I was leaving the store right before the store opened, there's already a huge line, at least 20, 30 people um, waiting in line. I don't know if it's because of the holiday season or if there's just always a line, but be prepared that there is a line. In terms of pricing, the items are a little bit cheaper when it's like Euro versus like US dollar. And then you also don't have to pay for shipping um, and then also when you bring things back to the country back to the United States you don't have to pay import tax unless it's over $800 like everything that you're bringing back is over $800 so if you're only bringing back one Palen bag then you don't have to pay import tax you should still declare it I declared it um, but I also declared like because I brought back more than $800 worth of stuff so I did have to declare everything um, but that is a I guess like pro tip for you if you are only planning to go to Paris and buy one thing and you're only planning to buy that one Palen bag, you don't need to um, worry about paying additional taxes on that bag. And then also because I went
went during the holiday season. I don't know if it's because everything has been sold out recently, but they didn't have too much stock in store for me to like actually take home. Um, so instead I did get a few things shipped to me, um, but I did still take some stuff home as well. Um, so keep that in mind. And then also um, I kind of mentioned this on my Instagram stories, if you follow me on Instagram, but they were able to deliver my bags to the hotel. And that's honestly something that I prefer because, um, and I do this with a lot of luxury stores and shopping, just because I feel like um, when I am carrying my luxury bag, like shopping bag around, I just don't want to make myself a target. Um, pickpocketers are very real in Paris. Um, they're real kind of like everywhere in Europe. I feel like here in America, like you don't really think about like pickpocketers and stuff like that, but it's very top of mind in Europe. And so um, I didn't want to make myself a target. So they had all of the bags delivered to my, uh, um, to my hotel, which I thought was a really nice, just like little a uh, cherry on top with the um just the whole luxury experience so um i had an amazing amazing time at, at palen um thank you guys so much for having me at palen um i'm honestly just so so honored um and and I, I'm just like in shock that I even got to experience that. So definitely a highlight of the trip. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a Palen haul. Um, I'm going to try to keep it pretty quick um, because I'll probably be doing more in-depth reviews as I continue using the bags um, and give my thoughts, comparisons, all of that fun stuff. Um, if you're interested in my Palen playlist videos, um, I have it up here here for you guys. I've done different size comparisons for bags. I've done um, reviews. Um, so let me know what kind of polite questions you guys have. I'll try to answer them all in the comments below. Um, but I feel like I'm rambling. So let's just get into the haul. Okay, so for reference, this is the haul. Um, I'm just gonna start with the smallest stuff first and then move our way down uh, the box. Okay, starting with this. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. Um, I've been eyeing this for a while, so I guess I know this, but I don't, I, nobody really talks about this. Palette has um, card holders and other SLGs. And I picked up this really cute, it's in the color lilac. Um, I don't have a pink card holder, so I'm absolutely obsessed with this. The leather is so beautiful. It's just so buttery and soft. Um, I love it. It is a little bit smaller than my Chanel card holder. If you guys want to see like a comparison video on different card holders, please let me know. Uh, but I really like this. I think the leather is just beautiful. I would be very careful because it is kind of a smoother leather that you could probably like it might get kind of butchered and kind of crusty after a while with wear and tear. But this is I believe like a $50 card holder. So $50 card holder, $500 Chanel card holder. You got to pick and choose your battles. Um, but I really, really love this. I love the color and I can't wait to use it. Okay, so the next item I actually picked up as a gift. I don't think this person watches my videos. So I think we're in the clear. Um, and if this person does, I don't think they're going to remember anyways. Um, but this is a little half moon um, like SLG. Um, she can put like little coins in here. Um, I don't want to undo the, the tissue paper. So we're going to be extra careful. But here she is. I think this is so unique. Um, I very rarely see uh, SLGs like this. The zipper was so smooth. It could be like a little coin pouch if it's cards. Um, I think this is so cute and it's perfect. So they do have a bigger size for this one, but I didn't end up getting the bigger size because I wasn't sure kind of what the use case would be for it. And sometimes like if you have smaller bags, the big one, it was just, it was too big. So um, I got the mini size. I think this is perfect. If it's cards, if it's coins, if it's cash, and then it also has these little pockets on the side here. So if you have something that you reach for a lot, like for example, your ID, or you use like this one credit card very often, then you can almost slip it like here in these like little side pockets. So for easy access. And I, I love this. I love this color and I hope she likes it too. Okay. And then the next item we got is this, um, almost like a wall on chain. And I picked this one out, um, because I love the set line, um, the number seven, I have the mini size and I also have the regular size. Um, and I love, love, love the, the clasp in the front. I feel like just something about that clasp makes it iconic. So I picked up this one. I don't have anything in this color either. Like I don't have kind of this, like basically like a wallet on chain in this color. Um, absolutely stunning adjustable crossbody strap that you can wear and it's removable. So there's two styles of this. There's one where it comes with a strap and the one where it doesn't come with a strap. And I chose the one that comes with a strap because you can always remove the strap, but you can't attach a strap if there wasn't already these like little D ring hooks. I'm obsessed. The color is this beautiful, almost like tan, darker tan because everything, all the other Palen bags, it's like kind of this like lighter tan 
this is technically a nude but you know what i mean um so i love this color this is not like the regular clasp um this one is just like a button closure um but it opens up pretty big it opens up like this this could be like a full-size wallet um i personally don't carry around cash so um i don't know i don't know what to tell you but um if it's quite a few cards there's even like a little coin zip pouch as well um i think this is just the perfect like running errands little slg um i mean realistically when you're running errands what else do you Need, right so i thought this was so cute um and i had to pick this up okay moving over to the first bag out of three um you guys know how i feel about the numero dice the number 10 that is hands down my favorite bag from palen um i do think i might have a new favorite soon i have like a top three um and this is definitely the favorite um i have this bag in black and they recently came out with this new color called, I think it's called Midnight, I believe. I just had to pick this up because I don't really have anything else like this in my collection. Um, so this is the bag. The color is stunning. Obviously, I'm wearing black right now. So this kind of, I feel like it contrasts pretty well. So I think you can see the color pretty well. Um, but I love this color. I'm so excited to wear this. I think this is great, like, a, as a casual bag, casual outfit with jeans, like, a pair of light wash jeans with this bag. I think would be perfect um you guys know i love this bag for a few reasons but one of the biggest reasons is the durability Dur durability the durability i'm gonna say that's a word i don't know if that's a word uh, the durability of this bag it's like green caskian leather it's very carefree i take like this style with me on vacation a lot because i don't have to worry about it getting like smushed in my luggage it's a very very structured bag you can wear it as a crossbody. This is on the longer shoulder strap, and then it also comes with the shorter shoulder strap. Um, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag. Very adjustable. Um, just I love this bag. I don't have enough good things to say about this bag. I I literally can't name a single con about this bag. So I'm so 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 obsessed with this. Um, and I can't believe we got another color. Okay, so here is the next step. This is the I don't know how to pronounce this and I probably should have figured this out before I started filming. Um, but this is the mini size of the tote bag. Um, the tote bag was actually featured on Emily in Paris and um, I think like season one or season two. And that's when it first caught my eye. I was like, oh my goodness, I love this tote bag. I wanna try it on. I wasn't sure which size I wanted to get because um, this is the mini size and then there's also the large size. And I was stuck because I was like, okay, there's use cases for the mini size and there's use cases for the large size which size do I get? So, um, <laughs> unfortunately for me, I got both. Uh, but fortunately for you, we'll do a comparison video so you can decide which one you want to get. Um, uh, but this one's the mini and this color, I, I can't, I think you guys are going to die. Um, I, you guys know, I have an obsession with kind of this mauve pink color. So here she is. This is the mini size. Um, I think this is a great kind of like mom size bag. Um, this fits water. This fits an iPad, a book. Like I could see me like taking this bag to the pool maybe um, or like I don't know. I don't leave my house very often. I, it's hard to think of use cases. Um, but like it, running errands back, if you if you know you're just like gonna do returns at the mall, for example, like I do this all the time, right? Then you can put all your returns in here and then just like take it and then your bag um, and you're good to go. This I really like because it has a longer shoulder strap and then it also has this top handle strap. Um, one of the issues that I have with totes, and I was actually talking to my friend about this, um, when you're wearing a thicker sweater or a thicker coat, the strap doesn't stay, it doesn't like sit on your shoulder well, but because this is kind of a longer strap, it does. And I love this. And you can even like, kind of the Neverfull does this too, um, but I've never actually, I, I was showed, shown this at the store um, when I bought my Neverfull where like, you, like normally the Neverfull kind of like sticks out like this and you can like fold in the corners. I've never actually done that, but this one you can also like fold out the corners and um, there's little magnetic things here. So like, I don't know if they thought about this or if this is just like a design that they included, but like hypothetically, in Paris, there's a lot of pickpocketers and someone would to like reach into your bag, like in the side. Um, there's these magnets here that kind of keep it from 
keep them from doing that. Um, and then also a nice touch that I actually didn't know about for this bag is that there is a little pochette inside. Um, so it comes with this little detachable pochette, which I always think is a nice touch with totes because um, I never use them, but um, I think I think it's a really nice touch with the totes. So I'm obsessed with this. I love it and love the color and she's just so cute. Okay, and then last but not least, I don't know if I spoiled this for you guys, but I also got the um, full size version of the tote or like the regular size version of the tote. And this one I actually got in um, this color because I don't have anything any totes in this color um and you guys know i'm planning on getting rid of my neverfull um i feel like i'm just over i'm over my neverfull phase which is a little bit unfortunate because that was my first designer handbag but um i think that this would be a great bag to almost like replace that dior book tote for sure replaces that don't get me wrong um it like scratches the itch of having a big tote bag um but if i wanted something a little bit more low-key this was just perfect um i plan on using this for work i don't plan on going um to the office all that much but when i do i am so 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 excited to use this i love again how the sides cinch in you can make it cinch outward um and i think that like this actually doesn't look too too overwhelming on me um i probably will just kind of keep the sides cinched in um and i'll give you guys a what fits in the bag i'll be doing a comparison between this one and this one so um i'll give you guys a comparison and i'll show you guys what fits in each um later on but um i love this bag i can't wait to use it i haven't used this yet i don't know where to take this to um so i'm still thinking of where to go so i can take this bag but i do really like this bag um again this also comes with a pochette um and it's just so so well made um i love the simplicity of this design i love like the little creases here um i just I'm so, so, so glad I got this. So one of my favorite purchases from Europe, um, I will also be doing a Europe haul. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna include these. I'll probably include these because otherwise the video is gonna be too short. Um, but um, I'll give you guys a Europe haul as well for everything that I ended up picking up. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little vlog and the um, review of the store. Um, thank you, Polen, for having me. I feel so honored to be able to like go into the store and try things on and um, truly like a dream of mine. Like ever since I started on social media, like truly, truly a dream. So thank you guys so, so much for having me. Um, I don't know if you're going to see this video, but that's okay. Um, if I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have all of my Palette videos up here in the playlist for you guys. And I'll also leave it in the description box below in case you want to check anything out for specific Palette bag videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.